What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we kind of took a small detour, took on Team Rocket members, and, well, now it is time for us to actually go into the next gym challenge, and that is against Price. And, as we all know, Price is an Ice-type gym leader. So, what I did off screen was that I, I kind of, uh, you know, I kind of fixed up a team right here. I traded Ultra Psycho to Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Crystal for this particular reason. Because I did teach him quite a few other moves that could actually work. Sweet Boom looks like a Pokemon that, well, I kind of want to use for this one. And then, uh, let's see. Now, this is my second go around in, in the, uh, in the Ecrutec City gym. I'm not going to lie, or not Ecrotic, Mahogany City, or Mahogany Town, or whatever the hell it is. I'm not going to lie, I did struggle. It was a, yeah, it was it was a doozy of a battle right there. And I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking to change it up just a tad bit because, yeah, I didn't necessarily do the best with the type of Pokemon that I had. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead, and we could use Fluffbolt, but it is slow. We already got Kid Thunder right here. We need some speed, but unfortunately, Toxic Batman is weak against these guys. Uh, the, it looks like to me that we're going to have to start using Tank right here. It's slow as hell, but it is a tank. And, well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to use this guy right here. And just as a surprise entrant to the Royal Rumble right here, let's go right ahead and use a legendary Pokemon. Um... Yeah, we could use Moltres, but look at the move set. Not the right move set right here. So, hmm. This leaves me in a conundrum. Let's see if I have anybody right here. Nobody. Okay, so we're going to have to look at one of these Pokemon right here. So we can use Cinder. You know what? Let's use Cinder. And, okay, so we already gave it an item. Yeah, it, well, hold on just a second. Okay, so it doesn't. It looks like it doesn't have an item, or it does have an item. Okay, so there we go. Let's go with Cinder. Or actually, you know what? We need to give it an item, I guess. Um, 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 um you know what? Screw it. Hold on. Okay, we got to go back. Of course, I'm being a little ha uh, trigger happy because uh, you know of the last battle. So let's give our Pokemon some items. Let's go with a Mystic Water for this guy. Um, obviously, we're gonna be using Kid Thunder right here, and it's gonna be. Let's go ahead and take away the, the, the item that it has right there. And let's give it something a little more meaningful. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Leftovers. It could use the leftovers. Cinder can use the charcoal right there. And then the other two Pokemon that I kind of, that I want to use. Okay, I got to stop saying kind of want to use. Is tank number two. Mainly for its tanking ability. And we're going to give this guy the quick claw just for a little speed and the last guy on the list right here let's go ahead and use let's see we already got these guys we can't be using slow Pokemon for this one see this is just me being very very strategic because uh, yeah we got I got my I got my butt kicked on the last one right here so let's see what Pokemon did I not use right here huh we can't use Teddy. We could use this guy. Hmm. But its speed is not there. We need to use some speed. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Hydra. Yes, we're going to use Hydra 2. And what we'll be using is a Dragon Fan for this one. So let's go right ahead and take care of some business right here. So here we go, the Mahogany Gym Battle, and we're going to be going up against a border, I guess. Even in the blizzard, we're still blazing hot. Okay, alrighty. Alright, let's do this. I think I, I think I can uh, manage against this guy. Let's see, he's got... Okay, so he's got those particular Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and just use this guy and this guy. I think... I think we could do some good right here. So here we go, our first battle in the Mahogany Town Gym, I think? Yeah. Yeah, I completely forget about these towns right here. So here we go, Ultra Psycho is ready to go. And 
This guy will be coming out with his very own... Bam! Cloister. Okay, so Cloister, or no, not Cloister, I mean Kingler. God dang it. We're getting a lot of names right here. So, yes, I brought uh, Ultra Psycho over from Pokemon Yellow and then taught him a few, a few good moves. You know, two punches. As you can see, it does have an advantage in this particular gym. And this guy's going with a Crab Hammer. And not very powerful right there, which is good. And, you know, on my first go around, you know, I actually saw that, you know, with both Thunder and Fire Punch, it actually did better right here in this game than it would in the other game. Of course, you guys will be seeing that, you know, Ultra Psycho, uh, the only moves I use is Recover and Psychic, and it's just one hell of a just, like, repetitive thing. Should have changed its moves early on. And here we have a Seal. Oh, uh, crud. Looking like a Seal right there. So let's go with another Thunder Punch. Alrighty. Thunder Punch, go! And look at that, super effective. It's gonna take another, another hit right there. And of course, he's gonna be using Safeguard. So I don't know what I don't know what this trainer's thinking right now. It is it is being held by a berry, but guess what? I got myself a Thunder Punch, so we're ready to go right here. Let's go with Thunder Punch, and there we go. Say goodbye to Seal. Yeah, buddy. Dang. Okay, so this is. This is looking like it's going to be a sweep by Ultra Psycho himself, and here we're going to get another Pokemon, and it is a Swinub. Of course, Swinub is both a ground and ice type Pokemon. The best way to beat it is a water type Pokemon. So, here we go. Psychic attack, and it is a critical hit. Say goodbye to Swinub. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. So there it is, guys. A complete sweep. A complete, complete sweep from uh, Ultra Psycho. The MVP and all that stuff right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, move on right here. Alvin, he's not so happy right here. I don't know why, you know, my, my sprite's a girl. Shoot! Well, then, I'm switching to summer. Watch me in the summer. <laughs> be a swimmer, I guess. Okay, so we're going to be going up against the next trainer, which will be a skier, I think. I think it's a skier. So here we go. Skiing has to be the ultimate winter sport. Probably. Now, she does have a nice collection of Pokemon. I think I'll manage right here. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. And just to, you know, for, uh, for a little incentive, let's go with that. And let's do this. Okay, alrighty. Bring it on. Okay, so we're going to be going up against a skier right here. So we're going to come out with Ultra Psycho. And, well, let's see what Pokemon she brings out. And it is a Seedra. Just, just for added a little, well, just for a little speed right there. So let's go right ahead and use a Thunder Punch. Now, remember, Seedra is still a water type Pokemon. Once it evolves into Kingdra, boom. Change it. It's a, it's a, well, it's typing. And, well, nearly defeated with one hit. And here comes a... Oh, wow. Oh, crap. Uh, a cold air, or what, what was it called? Yeah, we get slowed down. It's okay. That's pretty much the prerogative right there. So let's go right ahead and use their Thunder, thunder Punch again. Let's go right ahead and do this. And can it, can it? Nope, it doesn't do anything. But you gotta love them trying to be... They're trying to be a little physical with Ultra Psycho right there. And look at that. It goes down. And now we're going to be going up against its second trainer right here. Or so second Pokemon. And, well, here we have a Delibird. And, well, let's see. Another, another Pokemon that is uh, weak against Electric-type Pokemon. And here's an Icy Wind. Let's see what we got. You can't. Oh, oh, oh. The attack has missed. So let's go right ahead and hit this with a Thunder Punch. And it. Wow. Nearly takes it out. Good gravy. These Pokemon are, you know, these Pokemon are getting luckier and luckier by the second. So let's go with this. What is that? And it nearly takes out my Pokemon right there. So let's go right ahead and use Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch does its thing. Yeah, buddy. Thunder Punch. Alrighty, alrighty. One-sided one affair right here. Oh, it's and here we have Dratini. Now, 
I'm not so afraid of Dratini right here. It is a dragon type, but remember, it does has it. It does have it have its weakness and all that stuff. So here we go, psychic attack, and this one right here is in the oh, almost in the bag. These Pokemon are like surviving. What the hell's going on, Ultra Psycho? And well, yeah, our speed has gone down just a tad bit. It looks like uh, Dratini is going to beat Ultra Psycho right here. I think maybe I don't know. I really don't know. And then here comes a headbutt for the win. Okay, well. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So that is that right there. And well, let us move on to the next Pokemon. That's right, guys. I brought in the secret weapon, and that is Hydra 2. We haven't seen this guy in quite a few episodes. Look at that. Shiny Gyarados, the first of its kind. And, well, I do have a move for this. Twister attack. Oh, yes. Here we go. Twister does not miss. Oh, yes. And it is super effective. Say goodbye to Duchini. Going stiff. Oh, yes. Kind of like the Sprint commercials. The old Sprint commercials that I used to watch as a kid. Of course, you guys are a little too young to figure that out. Or to not figure it out, but just to see it. But there was a Sprint commercial with a little needle hitting the floor and all that stuff. That's I guess that was their, their, their thing right there. We're quick as a needle or something. I don't know. I guess my plan just got swept away. It did. Okay, so that is another one down. We got one more to go. And that is Price, the gym leader. Now, this guy... Oh god, he is a tough Pokemon trainer. Very, very tough Pokemon trainer. He does have a nice team right here, so... Hmm. This is where we're gonna have to be very strategic. Very strategic. Very, very strategic. So we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with that. And we're gonna go with this. Okay, so... Let's pray to Arceus that we can actually win this one right here. He does come out with a Dawn Fan, and Dawn Fan is a... Uh, it is a it is a crazy strong Pokemon. I of course relied on Ultra Psycho, and uh, well, as you can see, he does come out with Dawn Fan, and I do have uh, the Mystic Water on this Pokemon, right? No, I don't think so. But it does have Waterfall. Alrighty, Waterfall super effective against Ground type Pokemon, and any Ground type moves will not work against Hydra in this one because it is still a Flying type Pokemon. And here comes a double edge attack, making it easier for me to actually beat this guy. And well, there's its recoil. And well, it looks like to me, this is how the cookie crumbles. And oh crud, this guy's switching out. You asshole! Okay, who's the next Pokemon you want to bring out? And it's Dugon. Good gravy. Okay, so he really wants to play this game. Let's go with the waterfall. And it is not very effective. I gotta conserve my Pokemon right here, so let's go with Ultra Psycho. Again, not trying to not trying to rely on Ultra Psycho, but he is the best chance to actually defeat this Dugong right here. And well, Alakazam looking all strong and everything. What move will this guy use? Ice Beam. And. It is a critical hit. Good gravy. Okay, so the good thing is we are fast enough to beat this guy. Let's go right ahead and go for a Thunder Punch. Let's go. Let's go. Thunder Punch for the win. And it is super effective. Takes a, well, almost half its HP. And here comes another Ice Beam attack. Ugh, gravy. Okay. Alrighty, so that is that for Ultra Psycho. Oh, crud. Yeah, we we're kind of relying on him for this one. So, let's see. He's done his damage. Let's go right ahead and use Cinder. Because we do not want to use Hydra. To use, uh, we do not want to use Hydra 2 right now. And, well. Let's see. Let's see. What kind of moves? Oh, yeah. We got Thunder Punch. <laughs> we got Thunder Punch, asshole. Here we go. Thunder Punch. Bam. Super effective. Oh, my God. Almost beats Dugan. No. No. Come on, you gotta survive, Cinder. You have to survive this. And yes, he survived. Okay, so we're in good spirits right here. Let's go with another Thunder Punch. Yeah, buddy. There we go. So now we're down 2-2. Two, two. No good. Okay, we got an advantage, guys. Please bring out like an Ice-type, a true Ice-type Pokemon. 
And the Pokemon is Piloswine, so again, I'm not trying to get comfortable here, but we do have we do have a uh, an advantage with both a fire type and a water type. So here we go, flamethrower, critical hit. It is super effective, and yes, <laughs> there we go, Piloswine. Just like that. That's it. Magnificent. So it really doesn't matter what your Pokemon is. We're gonna win this. Look at that. Dawn Fan at half strength. It might beat us, but guess what? We got Hydra. We got the key to this whole thing. Let's go. Let's get this Earthquake attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Earthquake. Oh, yes. Just weaken this Dawn Fan just a little bit more. And here comes a du or double edge attack. And it hits us pretty hard. We are left with 5 HP. Making it a little bit easier for us to actually beat this guy with just Cinder. So let's go right ahead and do that. Cinder Earthquake attack for the win. And damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> he survived. Oh wait. Never mind. A double kill. A double kill. Look at that. A double kill. Well, <laughs> again, I always have the strangest wins against Price. I mean, you can go back to my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Yeah, strangest wins against Price. And there it is. A double count out. We win this match because we still have Hydra. What now? Okay, look at this. Look at that. Okay, so we win. Price, you have been eliminated. Yes, I think that you have potential to climb even higher. Yes, we do. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. Okay, so... We have reached Claire, and as you can see, it is a Dragon-type gem. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, it's going to get crazy. Like, bull-crudded crazy. And I am probably going to pick out, like, the team the team to actually beat this Pokemon uh, this Pokemon trainer. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.